The movie opens. Prescott Academy is a prestigious government-run institution that prepares young female orphans for careers as field operatives. These girls have never known love and have been groomed to kill since the age of three. They also live without any outside media influence, and their trainer Hardman trains them not to form attachments because it is a weakness for a covert spy. Agent 83, the top student who fights and shoots the best among her peers, finds this rule impossible to keep as she matures into a teenager with exceptional combat abilities. She competes with Agent 24, whose abilities are comparable to hers. Agent 83 is finally activated as the first in her class for a covert operation to rescue a briefcase from a bad man, which she successfully completes. During another mission, Agent 83 grows interested in adolescent life outside of the academy. As a result, she chooses to learn about adolescent culture by reading publications and seeing movies. Mean Girls in Beverly Hills, for example. Later, Hartman orders the orphans to apprehend Victoria Knox, a known American arms dealer. Agent 84 volunteers for the task at first. Prove herself to be the finest agent, but Hartman picks Agent 83 instead, despite the fact that she was caught reading magazines during the briefing. Knox and her henchmen are shown in the following scenario in a work zone in Chechnya, attempting to catch Knox off guard. When Agent 83's actual identity is exposed, she rapidly strikes, Knox, and overpowers all of her henchmen. She then clutches on and crashes into Hardman's passing plane. Unfortunately, Knox are accompanied by a gun. With her and shots, she reaches the age of 83, causing her to cut the harness and fall into the river below. Knox is captured and encounters Hardman, who notes Agent 83's abs. Simultaneously, Agent 83 swims to safety and hears Hartman trying to reach her via the gadget on her wrist. She, however, chooses not to answer. Agent 84 notifies Hardman that they are not getting any sights or sounds from Agent 83, so she tosses the gadget into the ocean and begins her new life back in the aircraft. Agent 83 develops a new identity and adopts the name Megan, masquerading as a Canadian student who goes to Newton and lives with the Larson family, prompting Hartman to proclaim her missing and inactive. Mrs. Larson and her son Parker are warm and welcoming to Megan, however her daughter Liz is cold and aloof. Megan learns over dinner that Mrs. Larson has divorced her husband. She also develops feelings for Parker, who is fascinated with being a ninja. Liz, on the other hand, considers it strange that Megan gets enthusiastic about mundane things like boarding the school bus. Megan designs her outfit for her first day of school after supper, but she overdresses and becomes the focus of attention, resulting to mockery from other students the next day. Liz grudgingly gives her fewer pattern garments to see this. While Megan waits for her turn to be presented as a brand new international student at the first assembly, she meets a nerdy youngster named Roger, who works on the lighting and design boards. Finally, Megan takes the stage to introduce herself. However, one of the bullies, Gooch, instantly mocks her, followed by the others. Fortunately, Cash, the most popular student and bandleader, comes to her aid. He then sings a song for Megan, who is immediately drawn to his charming day. Megan sees Roger again and sits opposite him in her first class session. Although Roger looks to be drawn to her, Megan does not return his sentiments. After the lesson, the teacher informs the students that they must seat with their allocated partners during the lab session the next day. When Megan spots Cash leaving the classroom, Gucci attempts to slap her. From behind, she takes him down on her own. Later that night, Megan infiltrates the lab and alters the seating plan ensuring that she gets matched with Cash. Megan boldly takes her seat next Cash the next morning, only to be challenged by Cindy and Donna, who have emotions for him as well. Unfortunately, following the lab session, the teacher assigns Cash as his lab helper. Cindy and Donna duped Megan into believing that Cash liked females who dress up as the school mascot in order to gain his favor. Megan works hard in auditions for the mascot role, becoming the lone contestant to earn the post on the day of the competition. Megan dresses up like a Viking and cheers for the school. During the wedding, however, some masked men approach her and attempt to abduct her, assuming they are Hardman's operatives. Megan easily overpowers them. However, he quickly realizes that they are kids from a rival high school who are attempting to abduct Newton's mascot as a tradition. Megan hurries out, embarrassed by the revelation that she had been duped by Cindy and Donna. Roger pursues her and attempts to soothe her, but to no effect. 
The next day, Megan becomes famous overnight as a video of her deeds goes viral at school. Everyone cheers for her, including Cash, who invites her to an after-school jam session. When she arrives, she runs into Roger, with whom she has a brief talk till Cash arrives. Megan understands when she converses with Cash that she does not really fit in with him. However, she accepts his offer to Gucci's weekend party. On her way home, Megan is captured by a Prescott agent and brought to Hardman. He believes she is working with their adversaries, but she admits that she simply wants to live a regular life outside of the academy. Hartman chooses to let her go with a warning after hearing this. She must say Newton good night and return to Prescott as Agent 83. Hartman's men then abandon her on the front porch of Larson's house before Liz and Parker can save her. The next morning, when Megan meets Roger, she invites him to Gucci's party, but he declines. Because of his overbearing father. Miss Larson, before you start the celebration, Liz is asked to accompany Megan to protect her safety. 20 Megan is astonished to find Agent 84, who goes by the name Heather, at the house party. Megan promptly confronts her and thinks that Hardman ordered Heather to shadow her, but Heather denies this. Meanwhile, Liz walks into a restroom and encounters an intoxicated Gooch. She ultimately gets intoxicated and starts bonding with him. Other people who are aware of Megan's interest to Cash try to woo him in order to anger her, but Megan finally captures Cash's attention and is invited to the homecoming dance. Roger shows up at the party seeking for Megan, but is dismayed to discover her kissing the cat. The next morning, Megan boards a school bus, only to discover that Hardman has disguised himself as the driver. He informs her that Knox has escaped from the academy and intends to get revenge on her, but Megan refuses to return to Prescott. Liz then drives Megan to school, but they are being hunted by a masked assassin. Megan takes the wheel fast and inexorably. Liz learns her secret. They ultimately collide in a junkyard, and the assassin escapes. Shape. Fortunately, Liz survives the accident and is taken to the hospital. When Liz awakens, Megan apologizes for lying and putting her in risk. She wishes to escape the Larsons before she does too many people harm. Liz, on the other hand, does not want her to leave, claiming that losing her family would be even worse. Since then, the two have grown closer, and get ready for the momentous night when their dates pick them up for the homecoming dance. Liz dances with Gooch upon arriving, while Megan hangs out with Cash. Cash, on the other hand, bores her because he seldom speaks to her. As a result, she dumps him and resolves to make peace with Roger. He refuses her, much to her astonishment. At the same moment, Heather appears and reveals herself to be Roger's date, resulting in a confrontation between her and Megan. They eventually wind themselves in a kitchen, where Heather admits that she joined Knox's operation in order to kill. Fortunately for Megan, Liz sneaks up on Heather and stabs her in the leg. After abandoning Heather, they ran back home, where Megan took down the guards. She then learns that Knox and her henchmen have kidnapped Mrs. Larson and Parker. Knox explains that she was Prescott Agent 1 before leaving and turning against them for stealing her of her life. Megan is helpless as one of her henchmen takes Liz as a prisoner. Megan gives over her gun and surrenders, but then challenges Knox to a fair battle, which Megan easily wins. Parker, fortunately, delivers a flashbang, allowing Hardman enough time to rush in with reinforcements. They successfully overpower Knox and her henchmen, and Megan praises Hardman for his assistance. Hardman ultimately permits her to reside with the Larsons and hires her as a deep cover agent in Prescott. Megan then utilizes a Prescott helicopter to intercept Roger as he drives home with his father. She then confesses her genuine emotions for Roger, and the two kissed before joining Liz and Gooch. And, in a mid credit sequence, Heather meets with a former Knox henchman and instructs him to find out where Megan will be attending college. This movie ends here.